Hi, welcome you back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create a rich cap like this. I told you in our last video that I will be teaching you how you can create a rich cap on your roof. I hope you can see. You can see this rich cap here. So this is how it's going to look like. You can see compared to how our roof was before. Can you see the rich cap? Yes, I'll be showing you how to do this. Let me also go to my realistic view so that you can be able to see what I'm saying. Can you see the rich cap? You can see the traces on the roof. Can you see? Let's get started. For those of you guys who have watched our previous tutorial, this is where we stopped last time. And for those of you who are just joining us, please kindly watch our previous tutorial. To start our reach cap, make sure you are on any of these four elevations. Can you see my cursor? Make sure you are either on east elevation or north or south or west. It's very, very important. Then, what I'm going to be doing now is that I'm going to copy this my roof. I'll go to my modify and I will hit on my roof. I'll hit on my copy. I would like to move or copy this roof by six or 700, either 600 or 700 mm. I would like to use 700 mm. I will hit on enter. Then, before I proceed, I would like to go and off the ash that I have on my roof so that I can be able to select whatever I want to select during my reach cap. Why I'm selecting this roof? Then I'll go to edit type. I'll go to edit structure, edit material. Then under this surface pattern, I'll click on it. Then I'll take it to none. I'll hit on OK. Apply and OK. Then I'll click on OK and OK again. Can you see that? Then I'll go to my architecture tab. I'll go to my vertical and I'll click on my roof. It's going to allow me to go to any plan where I will be able to sketch or create my rich cap. I would like to go to my roof. I'll go to open view. Can you see? Then I'll hit on my peak lines. And I would like to offset by 150 mm for both sides. That will be 300 mm. Then I will offset all my reach. 150 by both sides. Offset here. Offset here. Offset to both end. Offset to both end. Offset. Offset. And I will offset this. Offset to the other side. This one as well. This is my valley. I'm not going to be doing this, but I'm very sure you're going to understand what I'm going to use it for later. Let me offset this here. And I will offset this here. I'm still going to trim it later. Don't worry. I will offset this. And I will offset this. Okay. I will offset this. And I will offset this for both ends. I'll do the same thing here. I'll do the same thing here. Okay. What else? What else? Are we done with all our reach? I think we are done with all our reach. Then I would like to change my offset. But before I do that, let me click on my escape button. I'll make sure I'm not clicking on anything. Then I will go to my peak lines again. Then I will hit on 75 mm now. You offset in by 75 mm. You offset in by 75 mm. You do the same thing for this end. You do the same thing for here. You do the same thing for here. Here as well. 
Yeah. I'm going inward now. Don't do mistake. Okay. I'm offsetting inward only now. And you offset this side as well. Do the same thing for here. Okay. Are we done? Are we done offsetting? Let's check. Okay. Let's check. I think we are done for that as well. Then we can now use our trim slash extend button. I'll trim this and this. I'll trim this and this. Okay. Let's trim this and this. Then I'll trim this and this. Okay. We're just seeing something now. Let me click on my escape button. I'll, we need to delete this particular one. That's supposed to be there. I'll click on my off, uh, trim slash extend again. Sorry. Then I'll trim this. Then I'll trim this and this. I'll trim this and this. I'll trim this and this. This and this. Then I can connect these two together. Okay. I'll trim, let's see, this and this together. Then this and this together. Okay. Let's see. This and this should go together. This and this together. Okay. Then this and this should go together. Let's do for this one as well. Okay. Let's trim this and this. Let's trim this angle as well. Let's trim this angle as well. Okay. Let's go for this angle. Let's trim this angle. Let's check. Okay. Let's trim this and this. This one and this one should go. Okay. This one and this one should connect to their self. This one and this one. Okay. This one and this one. Okay. Then let's do for this now. What I'm going to be doing for this now is that I will connect this one and this one together. Okay. Then let's see. Then I will offset this one and this one. I said of sets, I'll trim rather, then I'll also trim this one and this one together. Okay, I think we are done. I think we are done. Let's see, are we done? Before we finish it up, let's just check. Let's check. Okay, okay. Then we can just finish it up. Overlapping cannot have overlapping lines. Okay, let's check. I think there, this is where the problem lies. Let's check. Let's delete. Uh -huh. I think we have to there. Then let's finish it up again. Okay. Now let's edit the roof. This time around, it's not going to be. Let me see. Let me see your roof. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I want to extend this particular one now by 75 mm. Or let me just use 50 mm. Then I can just use offset. I will offset it by, let me just use 50 mm, let's see. 50 mm. Or let's use 75 mm. 75 mm. Then you offset this one by 75 mm. We don't want to have a copy. So let's offset it by 75 mm. Let's offset it by 
Yeah, no, it should go inside, control Z. Offset it out by 75 mm. Offset it, control Z. It should go outside, not inside this time. So let's do it for this. Let's do it for this. Let's do it for this. Let's do for this. Let's do for this. Let's do for this. Let's do for this one as well. Okay. I think we are done. Let's check. Let's check. Check. We are just trying to check. Make sure you check properly. Okay. Make sure you check properly. Okay. I think we are done. I think we are done. So you click on modify and you finish it up. Okay. Now let's go to our 3D okay let's go to our elevation can you see this is what we've just created can go to any of our elevation if you remember we move it by 700 the other time but now I'm not going to be using the 700 I'll just move it by 600 mm now because you should know that it's going to it's not going to be flat on it the way it was before we should be able to see that shape so i will move it by 600 mm downward now let me uncheck my constraint let's see Let's move it by 600 mm. Move. 600 mm. Enter. Okay. Let's see what we've done in 3D. Let's see it in 3D. Let's see. Okay, let me go to my realistic view. Okay. I hope you can be able to see the reach. Should be able to see the reach. Can you see the reach? I think this is good. Yeah, this is good. If you feel you can still see some space there, then you can just do the adjustments. But I think this is this is not bad. This is not bad. Can you see our reach? Can you see? This is the reach. Can you see? And let me just go to one of my elevation. Can you see? Can you see the reach? Okay, then I can select my roof back and quickly go and on my hash back. If you remember, I off it the other time. And I'll go to my surface pattern. And let's see. I'm going to go to my model. Then I'll click on shake 150mm. I'll hit on OK apply okay 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 you bring it back can you see let me go to my 3d let me go to my shaded can you see In our next video, 
I will be teaching you how we can have an hand drill. I want us to have an hand drill in this front elevation here, this entrance, and this our balcony as well. We should have an hand drill there. And how we can create our entrance step. But in our next video, we'll be talking about how to create the hand drill. Thank you very much. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Kindly share our videos as well. This is the only way you can also encourage us to do better and to serve you better. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.